You are the vine We are the branches I can do nothing apart from you Giver of life The one to hold on to I can do nothing apart from you No, no You're my lifeline 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 You're showing forgiveness Loving your children, I can do nothing apart from you. No, no. Speaking your word and being able to listen, I can do nothing apart from you. No. You're my lifeline. You're my lifeline. You're my life. You're my lifeline. You're my lifeline. You're my lifeline. Good morning, friends. We just finished getting ready. Um, today is Sunday. We are was going to go to church, but my husband had a rough night, so I think we are going to stay home. If y'all don't mind whispering some prayers for him, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, he's having some stomach issues, so all prayers are appreciated, but we do need to go to food line and then I'm going to make a new recipe for supper tonight, which I'm very excited about. Um, we're going to do Italian stuffed acorn shells. Um, and then probably some sweet potato sheet pan fries or something like that. So Anywho, it's going to be a quiet, relaxing day at home, and I just figured I would bring y'all along with me. But we need to take these fellas right here for a walk. Isn't that right? Pep, pep. You got to go outside, baby? Huh? You got to go outside? Yeah. Did I mention that it um, is about 48, 47 degrees right now? It's pretty chilly. But, kiss fall. Are turning brown, red and yellow. Soon they'll be falling down. Now, now I'm not ready, not just yet. So we are heading down to food line and it's actually wanting to spit a little bit of rain out. Of course. So hopefully we don't get soaking wet. Let me put y'all here. Ah. <laughs> I've just got to go get a couple things. Not too many at all. Got me some new glasses, even though I don't need them today. Pretty good. My son, listening to praise music. <laughs> My son actually got these for me. I think he did a pretty good job for his mama. But said, I don't need them today, that's for sure. So it's only 53 now and spit and rain. So let's head to food line real quick and see what they got. And like I said, I gotta get coconut oil and some mushrooms because I need the mushrooms to put into the um, Italian stuffed acorn squashes. I said shells earlier in the video. I remember doing that, but it's squash. <laughs> Beneath the stone, 
Everybody told me don't pretend Cause everyone can use a friend sometimes Take some good advice Don't let your fear decide That's how you break inside Okay, so we're done with Food Mon. I did find a couple deals. I think y'all saw them as far as like um the kinder seasoning and some stuff but when i get home i'll show you everything that we got and the sun is out now hence the glasses <laughs> it comes in and out in and out in and out but anywho let's go home so i can show you everything that we got from a food line. all right so we are home i've got everything the few things that i got from a food line so let me go ahead and flip you around um i spent 31 dollars and some change and it was 56 something and some change because I got some sales things that was on MVP and everything like that. So let me, okay, so these were on sale three for 11. I only needed one. So at food line, you can, you don't have to buy all three to get your discount. So I just got one six pack of the ginger ale and then these were on sale, um, five for five. So they were a dollar each and they are originally like a dollar 59 or a dollar 79 each. So I got two of the grandpa's beef stew. That's going to be coming up soon. And then I got two of the meatloaf seasoning because it makes the best meatloaf if you don't have like the beefy onion soup mix or anything like that to put in it. That does so good. And then I picked up a block of this Cracker Barrel Extra Sharp Yellow. It is eight ounces. Now you can get the pre-cut like sticks that's in the packages for like five bucks, but this was on sale for $3.49 or $3.99 for eight ounces. And I'll cut it up myself <laughs> and save some money there. Plus you get a little bit more. Then I got these sliced baby bella mushrooms to put into those Italian sausage stuffed um, acorn squash right here. And yes, that is still squash coming from my garden. And I got those tomatoes out of my garden as well. Then I got this Smithfield lower sodium bacon. This is originally like six bucks. They have it on sale. I think it's $6.49. They had it on sale for $3.99 a pack. And same for this um, a center cut applewood smoked bacon. So I went ahead and got both packs to go ahead and put up in the freezer because you never know when you might need some bacon and it's better to buy it on sale than to have to pay full price. So got two of those. Then I picked up four of these sweet taters because the ones that were individuals, um, not wrapped, but just, you know, the grab and go ones, um, didn't look too good. And then they had like a four pack that didn't look too well either. So I decided just to get these and cut those up and make some sweet potato wedges to go with our squash tonight. And then I picked up some whip topping, the extra creamy, and then two deep dish pie shells because I'm getting ready to put my white pumpkins in the oven to let those cook down. And then we're going to make a couple pumpkin pies this evening. That'll be in an upcoming fall foods video. So y'all stay tuned to that. I've actually shared it before. If I can find it, I'll link it down below. But that is everything that we got from food. But we're going to go ahead and get this roasting in the oven. And I actually have two of them. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and roast them both. Um, what I do is just cut them in half, take the seeds out and meat side down on a like a sheet pan and roast them for probably an hour or so just until they're tender enough. But let's go ahead and get that done. So we're just gonna get us a good sharp knife and cut these right down the middle. Be a part of something real. Mm -hmm. Someone says better when you hold on to a helping hand. Sometimes we could all use a friend. Look at all these pretty pumpkin seeds right here for next year. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here and let these dry. And then we'll get them into a, a baggie and stuff for next year. Got a lot of them. He's waiting down the line to pick up the pieces. Hey, you'll be all right. So we're sitting here chilling now, waiting on that pumpkin to get done. The curl has done fell out of my hair. It is what it is. <laughs> but I'm probably going to go ahead and change out of this and put something on that I don't mind if it gets like messy or stained up, even through my apron. 
y'all know how it gets in the kitchen sometimes so i'm probably gonna go ahead and change shirts and then wait on that pumpkin to get done and then of course y'all see the the pumpkin pie recipe in a whole nother video but it'll be coming up next weekend i think next sunday but today is sunday but it's the following sunday <laughs> gets confusing don't it but i'm just gonna go ahead and get changed and then we'll pick back okay up. so since the pumpkins are still in the oven bacon i'm gonna make me a pizza bowl real quick and i thought i would share with you how i make mine but we're just gonna do the meat and the cheeses right now and i think that'll be just as good but you could do black olives banana peppers anything you want in it whatever you want on your pizza you throw it in here and it's so good so i'm just gonna do some black forest ham some deli pepperoni i'm gonna chop it up and of course your pizza sauce some parm and then mozzarella so we're just gonna go ahead and throw that all in there a lot cottage cheese and then we'll throw it in the microwave for a little bit to get everything good and warm through and we'll sit down and have some lunch so i did find one more sweet pepper in the fridge and i've already diced up my ham and pepperoni so i'm gonna go ahead and cut this up all right y'all so we've got this all in the bowl we're gonna pop it in the microwave for a couple minutes and then it'll be ready to eat all right y'all so here's that pizza bowl and it is so good so cheesy but so hot <laughs> we're gonna let that cool down and then i'm gonna have some lunch okay so we've got these pumpkins out of the oven we're just gonna let them kind of sit here and chill out a little bit and then we'll get all the the meat from inside of it and get to making the pumpkins or get to making the pies <laughs> so i just figured i'd show you how easy this skin comes off once you let it um bake until it's tender and then it cools off <laughs> i mean it literally just peels right off of there and then you're just left with the flesh of the pumpkin Okay, so I just sprinkled the tops with some nutmeg. If you don't like nutmeg, you could always use more pumpkin pie spice over the top of it, but I think this just gives it a little bit of something extra. So these are gonna go into a 350 degree oven for about 35 to 45 minutes until they are completely set. You'll see a little bit of a wiggle right in the middle, but not very much. Um, and then once they cool off, they'll be ready to eat. All right, y'all. So do y'all wanna see the aftermath of me being in the kitchen all day? <laughs> I am filming, I think, three different videos at once. So, and then I decided to clean out my fridge with the leftovers and stuff. So, I've got a mess beyond belief. Thankfully, there's not too many leftovers, so I'm not wasting too much of anything. Um, maybe one, one meal for us, if that, like, for one person. So, one serving, is that better? But I'm going to go ahead and show you this aftermath. And then we're going to do a snap clean and get it done. All right, y'all, it is many, many, many hours later and I've got supper done. I started to eat <laughs> and I remembered that I didn't jump on here and show y'all. This is the Italian stuffed acorn squash and then I made some like sweet potato fries to go with it. But y'all, this is definitely a must try. Even Leo <laughs> liked it. <laughs> so like I said, I was eating it, but... Of course, you have to take the skin off when it's done, but you've got all that um, peppers and mushrooms and the squash with the Italian sausage and cheese. And then you've got the sweet taters right there. So, so good. And then job. the pies are done. Um, I will show y'all that next, but <laughs> they turned out great. Yep, here's that pie. <laughs> of course, we've done got into it, and y'all, it is so good. So, so good. I mean, just look at this beauty. It is absolutely delicious.